What's up guys and welcome to progress video number 32 and we're actually going to start this one off with finishing the wilderness diary. I'm actually, I had to boost to 85 mining. That took a long time and I had to log out like the whole time because you have to kill these things and then mine the ore and try not to let your like mining level drop. So, and that's the elite task done. So that's pretty awesome. All we have left to do is the dark crab and we can already do that. We don't have to boost at all for it and we don't have a fishing pole. All right, so we gotta go and head back. All right, Boozy, you were the real MVP. The guy just let me use his lobster pot because I bought a pole, paid him 30K to do it, but honestly, dude, thanks. I don't know if you'll watch this video ever, but small shout out to you. And this should do it. There we go, that's the wilderness task complete. Let's go ahead and get the sword and we also get noted bones, which is the biggest thing I wanted. All right, so I just finished the reward. I got myself a wilderness four sword, which looks really cool, but it's not good. Um, we got the lamp, which is like 50k. That's pretty good. And we also can um, access the resource area for free. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got the teleport three times to the wilderness area and dragon bones. All that stuff is awesome. Um, that's our 200th clue. That's actually not terrible, I guess. And there's the medium clue. Armadale page. That's actually pretty good. 200k. I'll take that. We just got a master clue and we got the redwood log challenge again. So it was very worth getting 85 wood cutting, even though my last master clue was terrible. At least it's already paying off. That's not a third age pick. So my friend just called me and told me that he saw a ninja impling in this world. So I came and got it and I didn't think to record because like who records themselves opening up a ninja impling, but I got myself a hard clue. So that's kind of cool. The first clue I've ever gotten from an impling. All right, here's the clue from that ninja impling. Let's go. Oh wow, that's bad. That's very bad. Hey, there we go. There's the dragon impling. My friend hit me up again with another imp. That's pretty awesome. This time it's a dragon. And 30 dragon bolts. That's not very good. No, we didn't get the elite. That would have been really awesome though. Hey, we just got ourselves a serpentine visage. That's pretty awesome. We ended up doing about 40 kills today. Didn't really expect to get anything good. And we've already made like a ton of money doing it. But it is really cool to get one of these like rare drops that end up making you bank. Let's see how much it is. 2.5 mil, I'll take that any day of the week. All right, let's go ahead and just open up this clue. I think this is it. There we go. Gothic's page, it's not good, 40K. So we're at Callisto and I actually just got myself a clue scroll. I don't really know what's wrong with my recorder, but when I was recording earlier when I got the kill, it was all laggy and stuff. So it ended up coming out pretty bad. But yeah, first kill of the trip, we got ourselves a clue. So that's pretty awesome. Is he TV? But I, we need to get a freeze on him. I have freezes. Uh, I don't know where you guys are. We're way south. We're way gone. He's he's gonna make I, it out, guys. If you have range, you need to hit him. So I got a kill up there, so I'm gonna go see what it is. Well, we just got ourselves a 189k PK. That's pretty awesome, actually. Just went and helped a friend out, but ended up saving him. Oh wait, the Gmail's not part of that. 149k. Ended up getting the sick Cavalier, though. We got to keep the fashion scape going on, so I'll probably keep that. All right, so give me my third age cloak now. Sixty-nine law rooms. That's kind of nice. Yes, I just literally have like was just about to teleport. Forty-three hit points, and let's go. We just got an ancient shard. No, not an ancient shard. What the crap? A zenite shard. Let's go ahead and price check that baby. Thirteen mil. I thought it was like fifteen mil, but honestly, thirteen mil. I cannot complain about that. Well, I got myself three kill count left, and I just got myself a frame, and I'm about to die. That sucks. But yeah, um, just got myself a frame. That's my first light frame and not too psyched about it. That really kind of triggered me. I was hoping for another Zenite shard. All right, we're doing a small clan chat event right now. We've got like Debo's. We're all going Debo PKing. So hopefully we can kill like an AGS on login or something. I'll see if we can get some good kills on cam. We got this kid. He's done. <laughs> another one get the other one, get the other one, get the other one. 101, 101, 101, 101. Grotesque. Son of nothing. Son of nothing? Where? He has no prayer on. Son of nothing. Son of nothing. Son no, of I'm, nothing. I'm Son on him right now. Keep him. Uh, keep smiting him if you're not getting attacked. He's dead, I think. Get killed by dragon. Keep your smite up, guys. Oh, we got him. 
Who are we on? Who are we on? Who are we on? Who are we on? Yeah, they got a lot. I'm just going south. I'm gonna jump this ditch. Oh, this guy just blocked us off, dude. He died. Wait, it's 1v3. What hey, are we let's, doing? let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. He can't. Um, I don't care. Okay, let's just run before their team catches yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's uh, just wrapping us around. Doing some Zammy right now. We just got ourselves a hard clue. Incoming third age. That would actually be really cool, though. And we're coming in with a Godsword Shard 3. We only need two more to make a complete set. And here's the cash stack we ended up with at the end. This is actually after the split, so this is what I get to take home from that Zammy trip. Not like the best Zammy trip, but definitely not the worst. I've left there with like 200k cash stacks before, so... Can't complain with 1.2. Alright, we got ourselves a hard casket right now. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a Zami page. Let's just see if we can get that. It's not a Zami page, but it's actually still not a bad close. 122k. And that's 86 Hunter right now. That's like awesome because now I can actually use a Hunter potion to get up to 89 and catch a lucky impling if I ever see one. Kind of nice to just get out of the way. I eventually want to get it to 90, but. For now, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the bank. And here's the juicy loot from 85 to 86. That's 2.3 mil. That's actually didn't take me too long. It was about three hours, I think. So yeah, 2.3 mil in three hours isn't too bad for a skill. All right, so we just got an awesome update. I've been waiting for this one, honestly. Uh, we're basically getting new portals for the portal room. So I'm building... A portal room here as well and one here because we're getting like seven new portals so let's go ahead and build these the updates coming out in like three minutes so might as well just be a little bit ready for it now we're just building the last frame right now and it's got like 30 seconds left now one of the places that i am curious though is the apatol teleport because we have two apatol teleports one of them spawns you in like the altar area or like the sanctuary i don't even know what you would call it really then one of them spawns you in like the dungeons I don't really care which one it is, but honestly, I will build the Apatol Teleport because it does seem like it's going to be a worth it portal to have. The only portal that I don't think that would be worth having is the Fishing Guild since there's like three or four ways to get there now. I just really don't care. And plus, I have the Jewelry Box to get there, so I'm not going to build that portal. Alright, so we're on the far end room right now. I'm going to go ahead and put some teleports that I'm not going to plan on using as much. So on this portal, let's go ahead and put, um, let's put Water Birth right there. All right, let's go ahead and put Anna Carl back here as well. Ooh, that looks freaking cool. It's black. All right, what's the third one? I'm not really sure why it's actually called Marum, but that is the Apatol one. So let's go ahead and build that. It's yellow. That's actually really cool, though. I'm so glad they put this update in. This is going to help a lot with stuff. That's really cool, though. Dark green. That's actually, like, my favorite color right there. And with the back one, I'm going to go ahead and put Lunar Island. That's going to be so nice as well, because I don't have like a really quick way to get to Lunar Island, so that's awesome. And Great Karen can be the last one that we do. So now we are really set up as far as our POH goes. We have literally pretty much every teleport in the game as far as like portals. We also got a jewelry box back here. We got a glory on the wall. Now here's something I do want to test out for the video, and I'm sure like some of you guys are probably going to want to see this anyways, but for the Anna Carl teleport, I do want to see if it gives you like a... Um, like a warning message before you go through okay that's nice it does it's because it teleports you out to 46 boldness so that's actually nice that it actually gives you a heads up on that so we just got a god sword shard on our second kill and we already lost our trio by the way like the first guy already died so that kind of sucks i'm not really sure what to do now we should stay here and try to like duo a hilt or something but i guess we have to fight this one all right this should be the reward i think yeah, there's the casket. Let's open it up. Brown Cavalier. I don't think that's really worth anything, but I'll probably put it in my POH. Yeah, it's only worth 3k, which is actually pretty sad because these are pretty dope for fashion skate, but they're not really worth anything at all. Two pages. Um, Bando's page really sucks, though. But that would have been a really cool clue if that would have been like a Xanrock page or something. Yeah, see, like that's 4k to 89k, but still 89k is pretty good. 
Well, I just missed the message, but we got 90 Slayer just now, so we only got nine more levels to go. I really want to get 93 for the Western Province Diaries, but definitely 90 is a cool milestone to hit. Nice, we just got ourselves an Elite Clue Scroll, and that's a 1 in 1200 drop rate from Abbey Demons. I've gotten two of these from Abbey Demons so far, so that's pretty rare, actually. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, here's the Elite Casket. Let's hope we get something good. Oh, that's the worst one I've ever had before. Firelighters, Law Rooms, and Summer Pies. That is... That was not even worth doing. Well, we just finished ourselves an Abyssal Demon task. We ended up getting ourselves a whip, which puts our loot tab at almost 60 mil. That's a lot. Honestly, I haven't really expected it to get that high, but I think I'm going to hold on to it still for a little while. I'm going to see if I can get it up to 100 mil before I sell it, but this tab is looking really good. We got like quite a bit of rares. The Zenite Shard is obviously the biggest thing we got in there. Um, and then we also got like 600 Onyx Bolts and just like, there's a lot of the stuff that's really adding up. Also, another thing is I've been saving up my Dark Totem pieces, and I've gotten three of the Dark Totems. I'm going to see if I can get, like, over ten before I start killing them again. Oh, I just got a Zamrock Hilt and a freaking Solo. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I think I'm going to tap with that, actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. I never thought I would actually get like a really good drop while soloing, I'm just messing around, but that's pretty awesome. I know it's only like 2 mil, let's see what's it at. 2.2 mil, but that's all mine. That's pretty juicy, I'm not gonna lie. Well that's cool, there's all my stuff on the ground, I ended up um, lagging out. Oh my computer crashed actually, but I can't even pick up my crap. Hey, that's pretty nice, that's actually pretty unexpected. I got the Battle Axe, it's like 500k, it's not like an amazing drop, well I'm lagging pretty bad. Not an amazing drop, but it's still pretty cool. It's about the best drop you can get from the Karask. This is my first time killing Karasks, actually, so... Didn't really expect that, but that's pretty cool to get. Well, anyways, with that 95 defense and 125 combat, that seems like a good spot to end the episode. Let's go ahead and run to a bank, and we'll do a price check. All right, there we go. We just deposited everything. We got 933 mil in the bank right now. That means we only got 67 mil to go, and then we could start our Road to Max series. This is episode 32 at the moment, and I'm trying to get this done by 35, so looks like it's going to be very possible, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. We made a ton of gains this episode, and yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace!